is, don't you? Of course I do. Three three six. That's the game, baby. For the sun, got it going high. I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start. I ain't tripping. I'm a stun. Oh. Hello. Hey. What's up? You about ready to work on this thing or what? What's that, the Outlander? Yeah, it's about time, ain't it? I guess. You at the shop? Yeah, I just got here, it's hot. About to turn the fans on, get the air moving. All right, I'll be there in a minute. All right. Well, we are just now getting to the shop, guys, and Jay Money has done called me saying, uh, where are you at? Let's get this thing on the road. I'm like, what are you talking about? I hear him in there now ratcheting like crazy. He is ready and pumped up to tear this Outlander down so we can start building this thing. I know you guys are too. Let's go ahead in the shop and see what he's got done. Jay Money, hey. you got more wind moving here like a daggone turbine. That was definitely the move. Very much so. What all have you got done? You've already got the back rack off. Back rack, get loose. You getting busy with this? You ready to see this thing? Dropping some weight off of it. To start with, I think we're definitely going to pull these full boards off. They are very bulky and ugly. Also, we got something coming for that. Clear these wheels and tires, but I think we'll probably pull off after that. Cause we got a whole new setup, of course. And then uh, probably the these ugly, this monstrosity of hand guards we're going to rip off of here and put on some uh, some sport guards. Definitely change up the look. And I think we've also got the snorkel on the way, if I'm not mistaken. And some other nitpicks, some grips, some other stuff. Probably going to take these XT shocks off. They're way too soft. Even though we are doing floorboards, we are kind of concerned with the clearance we're probably going to get. So I think we're going to go with some XMR shocks or a different, a little bit stiffer setup on the suspension on this thing. So after pulling these uh, huge floorboards off, definitely going to give us access to the ECM, which we are going to take to, of course, to Mr. RPM to get his goodies on it. And then we're going to throw that HMF system on the same as well, which we haven't ran in a little while since, ever since Blackgate, so we're gonna see how it performs. Jay Money, she's starting to get a little bit stripped, ain't she? Finally got it stripped, and floorboards, I'm telling you, dude. That was a pain in the butt. They're way harder than the actual Renegade floorboards. I will not even lie to you right now, okay? You listen to me? Mm -hmm. Even without the hand guards, it looks 10 times better way than better. stupid well, hand guards. 5.5 millimeter. Who Get does that? Things off. I don't know, self tappers on the bottom of them too. Who does that? I don't know, but that's It looks 10 times better even without them. Even though, yes, we're gonna go back and put some of the XMR Sport guards on, those just look, oh, it's so hideous. Why'd they even put them on there? And a 5.5 millimeter bolt. That is stupid. You know something I do want to see right fast? The exhaust. Can we open the box, please? Yeah. Please. Yeah, we can do something like that. Bro, it has been a while since we've run HMF, HMF. dude. We yeah, haven't run HMF sure. since the Black Gate. Right. It was good, though. Oh, I know. It sounded good, too. Very good. Moment of truth right here. Now, remember, we let the fans pick the exhaust and the color. The color. Okay. So, y'all knew that we were going with a machined in black look. So, guys, check this out. Oh. Have you, you haven't seen it yet. No. I didn't show you what I picked out, did I? Mm. Check this out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it is machined in black. The black gloss tip. Turn around, let me see the badge on. Is the badge black too? Oh yes, HMF baby. That thing's gonna sound so mean. Last but not least, we gotta take this ECM off so we can get it down to Mr. RPM. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on that, grab the ECM off of it, and head to Mr. RPM. Pick you guys up in just a minute. Finally, guys, we got that stupid ECM off. That is in a much harder location than the Renegades, is it not? The same location, just more difficult to get to with all that plastic and extra stuff they put on these outlanders. Maybe that's the difference between the Renegades and Outlanders that we don't like is how to get the stuff because you have to take so much plastic off to even get to anything. But we finally got it off. We're about to head to Mr. RPM. We'll pick you guys up as soon as we get there. Good morning. We have made, we made it. it. 
to the man. You wanna grab the ECM, we'll run in here and get that thing tuned and flashed up, baby. Let's do it. All right, guys, we have the ECM back and it is flashed in tune, Mr. RPM. I am super pumped to put this thing on there and see what this thing can do now. What about you, J Money? Spicy tune, I'm ready. I'm ready to see this thing tuned now. And with this exhaust, guys, we're about to go ahead and throw this on there for you guys. So you guys hang out with us and uh, help us make this thing into a beast. This is exactly the outlander problems we're talking about. I don't even know. I mean, I know we can get this piece off, but I think part of the dash might have to come off. Who knows? But we got enough to get the ECM out. Look how you got to have to bend it up. I know. Like, on Renegade, it just popped right off. It's like it's holding over there somewhere. It's hanging up, but we got to take this off anyway. That's that snorkel. Right, yeah. This has got to come off too, guys, because we have a snorkel on the way. A factory cam snorkel is going to look 10 times better than that. Like I said, you got to make sure your clamp is in the release position like you should be left when you took it off. And just slide them back in. We don't see that. And then it'll just pull itself down, click in. Hook them up. Good as new, baby. Right, now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's throw that baby on there. They come with all new hardware as well. Yep, ready to roll, slide around. And that mountain bracket right there as well. Now we already went ahead and put that on, but it's just like, what is it? Three up top and one bolt there. The and you got your mountain bracket for this thing and that thing will slide right into the old header because it's a slip on HMF exhaust and bolt up to those two holes. And you'll have something looking just kind of like this. And once you have it looking just like that, that means you've done it right, I think, right? Hope so. <laughs> But yeah, it is all the way on there, tightened up there at the header, tighten the two bolts there onto the bracket, and it looks freaking sharp, dude. Look at that. That it looks so good. That was a good call, everybody. Machined in black. Definitely a good look. All right, I feel like you knew I was gonna ask you this question, Jay Money. Can I ask you, please? What's up? So the ECM's back on, the plastic's back on, and the exhaust is uh, put back underneath the four wheeler. Can we please crank it up for a first crank, like a first start? One thing you gotta do. Can we please? Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's let's hear what this sounds like on the first startup. Key is in. Let's hear this thing, bro. Crank it up. standing back here let me hear what it sounds like Man. yeah Woo. that freaking thing sounds mean but it's just like aqua gate remember it was kind of just subtle until you cracked into it and right. brute force brute force had hmf on it right it was like kind of like you know it seems kind of quiet but has a good sound to it sitting here you get, on there. you get some weight on it and get into that thing i can't wait to get some floorboards on this thing some new shocks and then put the stocks on it just for one rip before we put the sass haters on it oh she sounds so mean all right so not only are we going to go with a shifter on this thing but we're also going to do a gas cap now to match the exhaust to match the wheels and tires we're going to do a machine look and the gas cap is machined in black okay. so go ahead and pop this thing out I like the way this looks too. You know how we, like, some of your RGWC shifters are like uh, just kind of the tall ones? Right. And they're like a, got like a, a grip to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is just just round. I, I, thought, I just like that it's a lot knurled, better. It's It's got like a knurling on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of gets grip. like textured. You know, it feels really well. I love the way it looks. Match exhaust. Come here, look at this. See? Going for that machine look. We're machine, baby. Yeah. So machine, black, and blue. Let's go ahead and throw this thing on. 13 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and pop it on there. Go ahead and start loosening it. Get it away from your shifter knob, your stock shifter knob, that is. Right. And then this one should just twist right off. It's concept. Yeah, that's what that's what you hope for it to do, right? Mm -hmm. No, and that's not always how it plans out and works, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. See, it's on there, buddy. I think they use blue lock time on these things, I really do. Right. We don't want you on there no more. Once you get all the blue lock tight eat off of it and, uh, you know, pulled off. Look at all the blue Loctite falling off of it, look. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they, they didn't, a dab will do you blue Loctite. Right. You don't need a half a bottle, Joe. Because <laughs> I have been known to put a half right. a bottle on stuff. Right. So I'm gonna just fill this whole entire thing up, no, just fill it completely don't, full. Don't do them like that. All right, look, two drops I'll put in there. That's all you need. Yep. Two drops, sit her on there, and run her all the way down. Once you get her all the way down, bring your nut back up and tighten it. Get it where you want it. 
I take all the thread. About right there. I like that, don't you? I so you can see every single side. Looks yeah. really good. Yes, Tighten it back up. That part's done. Now, here's the part that's kind of got me a little bit confused. I think these will fit. Now, these handguards here are for an XMR. Right, sport. Like sport. Right, handguard. this is an XT model, so I'm not sure 100% of these actual brackets will mount up on this XT. Now, previously, we took bars off stuff before. They got like the, the little notches like to rotate them back, so I don't know if the diameter of the bar is the same or not, because these clamps do look different also. They do. They really do, and like that's some. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. I really don't. We're gonna definitely we're gonna give it our best shot because sure. I we're, either way, we're not putting the no. factory XT guards back on this no, thing. Sir. Now, before we get busy with these to see if we can make these work, which I think we can, we've done pop this piece on here in the center. It came with that and it worked just fine. So I'm guessing this kit is for the XTs or other models to give them that XMR uh, look, even though it's upside down. Right. All right, next part is, this is a part that Jay don't like. He don't like the grips, which they don't match perfect, but they're blue, okay? I don't like them. You can't please them all. But right. it'll look better than just black, so kind of break the black up a little bit, Jay, okay? Yeah. Break them up. So now, we definitely gotta change them now. You know why? Because right. this side is cut. Okay. So, we, so you see what I'm saying? You yeah. definitely got to change the grip now you know what i mean yeah you gotta do it now yeah i mean unless you want to leave it like that i mean we could do a metal style handle you know what i mean kind of like an old school type thing i put a little design on like that look at that boom now once you get this thing cleaned up as good as you possibly can there's multiple ways you can do this on, on these grips we got some uh grip glue all you want to do is open the cap and i'm gonna tell you something if you ever use grip glue it's like the worst possible spider web you can get you string it on one hand or the other kind of like elmer's so it's kind of like a hot glue gun yeah it's pretty rough kind of like yeah. elmer's like uh, you ever use wood like wood glue elmer's wood yeah. glue made some yeah it's pretty rough <laughs> so get you a good little dab in there you can spin it around there mix it up whatever you want to do but the time you put it on your grip stretch it over it and you can just walk it all the way on like that right there. Uh-oh, it's kind of folding up, it's okay, unfold it. Keep on pushing, just got my beard caught in it as well. That's how you want it, just like that. You let that thing sit, do not touch it, Jay. Okay. And uh, we gotta cut these ends off for sure though, so we can get the right, right. guards to mount on the back side of it. Looks good, I know it's not the same blue, guys, I know, but it does break up all the black on the handlebars, so right. looks decent. Feels good too, I like the way it feels, like it feels really, really well. Once you finally figure out how to work these little metal pieces that go up in the handlebar, and you finally get them like a puzzle solved, and you gotta tighten on the end, yeah. it won't go nowhere. For my next trick, you gotta add this little U-clamp here, over top of your guard, over top your handlebars to hold this thing in place, mm -hmm. and keep it steady, because uh, when you're skimming holes and stuff, you don't want your guards moving, or your handlebars, or grips mm -hmm. in general, you don't want anything moving. You want it as right. steady and as tight Tight as possible. Yeah, good. That was good. That was a good word to use. And guys, once you get all that put on there, it looks absolutely 110% better than it did with the factory handguards. I promise. And since we got Carnage Cores to send us out some pull handles, we even threw Aquagade's brand new, like the pull handle that comes factory on it, on this thing. Check it out. That looks so much better. Look at that right there, Jay Money. What do you think about that? I think it's coming together for sure. I think that's where it should come from, factory, right? Should. That looks 10 times better. We put the black XMR guards on top of this Outlander 1000 XT along with an XMR pull rope right there in the middle. So when you're working them holes, Jay Money, you can yank her and pull her and do whatever you want to with her. So now we gotta get this cover off. Now I know we don't have the actual snorkel in yet. So we've got a ton more parts coming for this thing. Now we've made it about as far as we're gonna be able to make it uh, with tonight anyways, because we don't have any more parts besides the tires and we're not gonna put the tires on yet until we put the floorboards on and all that good stuff. And I promise you'll love to see it. But Go ahead and take this dash off and see how to get the screen out. So it's got what, four bolts to hold it on? Four bolts. How's the screen yeah, pop out of there? kind of cool, it kind of clips in. Oh, that's way easier yeah. than aqua gauge was out of the horn. That was so bad. Okay, kind of and it just unplugs out. just like normal. So you click your little red tab and just pulls out, just right? Push in on it, yeah. Pulls right out, so your screen is out. Now how does this piece come off? Is it just, I guess it just pops off? Oh yeah, like that. Oh yeah, there it is. So much easier, look at that. Oh yes, this well, right here. One of these before, right? Yeah, on uh, CES, that yellow one. Yeah, you still use this and we, we put a hole in the middle or something like that. Actually, I thought it comes with a whole new piece. Like, like I thought it comes with like a little riser. make a hole, I think. Maybe, Just maybe. for that tube, but. We need to keep this for now, just make sure we don't need it or not. This part, I'm not sure if they send it a whole piece that replaces this thing that has a little riser on it. And then we'll just connect the snorkel there. Yep. and extend it up with the vent lines to the top. And uh, yeah, she'll be snorkeling, ready to go. As of now, we have put the XMR guards on there. 
we have put the mud strap on there. Also the RGWC shifter that was that's machined. Blue grips that uh Jamie, are you still you like them? Are they growing on you any? It's all right. Mm -hmm. I do feel good. We've also put on a HMF exhaust and it's been tuned and flashed by Mr. RPM. Just a little bit left to go. Well, I say a little bit, but a lot more parts to go and we'll have this thing fully Mud Mafia Edition built. First Outlander built here at the Mafia headquarters in the new shop. And uh, I think you guys are really going to like it. What do you think, Jamie? Do you think they're going to really like it or kind of like it or semi? It's, it's going to be... Uh... It's gonna be like one of our own. Unique, for sure. very unique. Guys, if you would please smash the thumbs up, share us around, leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed, guys. I know this has been a little bit of a shorter video and usually when we do a build video, we uh, kind of start to finish it all in one video, but we don't have all the parts. And I know you guys really want to see us start on this thing and we really want to get going with this Outlander. So there you go. We've got it pretty much tore down where we need it. Besides a few things here and there, a little couple surprises for you guys. But if you liked the video, like I said, smash the thumbs up, leave that comment. We'll catch y'all on the next one.